Let's get over to our man, Mr. Tim Ward, as we do every Tuesday and Thursday. And don't forget, folks, we are coming up this Thursday. Our man, Mr. Tim Ward, is going to be doing a great educational seminar for you from 4 to 5.30. Uh, and what is that all about? That's the secret science of market tops. And I'm telling you, man, this is like 1999 with AFCO going up 100 bucks in two days. There's no doubt about that. But as you come over to our website at TFNN, you're going to see it right under Featured Content. Just hit that button. You're going to be in a great workshop coming this Thursday, 4 to 5.30 Eastern Standard Time. If you want to understand what Tim is looking at, at Market Tops. And, you know, we'll see how much this thing's going to get stretched. But the bottom line is that uh, it's quite a market. Tim Ord, what's going on, brother? All right, I sent you some charts over. I have uh, them. Kind of interesting. Yeah, so, I bet. <laughs> let's go through them real quick. Okay, I'm ready. All right, chart one. Yep. Um, this is the uh, the middle window is the VIX to VVX ratio. So uh, there's two VIXs. Is the VIX of the VIX yes. uh, against the VIX? So anyhow, it works pretty well. We can go through an explanation why this works. But I sent this out. This morning, I don't know, 10, 11 o'clock my time, so you probably got it around noon. But this ratio just hit a new low. Yes. So this ratio uh, is now hitting lower lows as the S&P is hitting higher highs, and that's actually bullish. Yes. So the, when I printed this, it was still showing a bearish divergence. Uh, so that has flipped to bullish. Uh, why? I don't know. Don't really care. The VIX but, is 11.99 uh, right now, folks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're going to go over all these things. So cool. Next window, uh, it was a little bit clear. Chart two, it, was, it just shows a little bit clearer what's going on. Okay. But again, uh, that ra the ratio is, is flipped on this side. Instead of uh, the first one, uh, the first chart was VIX to VIX ratio. Uh, the second chart is the BVIX to VIX ratio, which is the same thing. It just reversed. It goes into the trend of the S&Ps. So when the S&Ps was hitting higher highs, you want that ratio to hit a higher high. And again, when I did this this morning, uh, it was not, but now it is. So both those types of rare uh, the VVIX VIX ratio is now bullish nice so uh, so yeah let's go to chart three and yeah, I'm a big fan of the VIX VIX normally rises uh, before a top happens so it kind of the VIX leads the way I guess you might say yes and you can't really see it down there at the bottom I should have made that bottom a little bit bigger but the VIX is actually hitting lower lows as the S&P is hitting higher highs and that's the blue area. Okay. We still have an open gap back in the, looks like about mid mid November. That gap is still open. We actually had a gap about four days ago too. The market ran down and uh, created a gap. So anyhow, gaps uh, usually get filled at some point. Uh, it could be a month away, but not usually like six months away. So this gap then get filled this month. Will probably get filled in January. But that remains to be seen. And I also have a Bollinger Band on this on the SPY chart. Yes. And we're just starting to hit the upper Bollinger Band right now. You can kind of uh, see it on the SPY there in that blue area. Okay, um, yep. I can bring this over, too. Here, watch this, folks. Okay, as Tim's talking, I'll bring another one over. Yep, you can see that clearly. It's definitely right on sure. it right now. Yep. Yeah, you're right on or maybe a little bit above it. Yep, it's a, a lot of times yep. uh, that will stall the market. The last time we ran into the upper Bollinger Band where he closed it up was back in uh, November, well, right where that gap is, when the gap right, I see that. gapped up the market. And it kind of really puts resistance on the market. It's not necessarily a top, but usually at least at minimum stalls the market. Yeah, it threw it so, sideways for five or six days. Exactly. Okay, cool. Yeah, so it started then, you know, and then it kind of worked higher and stuff. And so we're starting running into the gap area. This week, which is uh, seasonality-wise, is the fourth weakest week of the year. Really? So wow. of all, all the weeks of December, this week's usually a down week. And all the weeks of, uh, or actually uh, weeks of, of, of December, this is usually a down week. And all the weeks of the year, which is 52 weeks, this is the fourth weakest week of the year. Um, so it's usually at best sideways. 
That's and right now we're still going up, but today's Tuesday. Yeah. And we're starting running into the upper Bollinger Band. It's nothing real bearish here because the, the uh, ratios we're looking at are actually pr- uh, pretty bullish, all set for one. Okay. So I'm thinking this market is probably going to hold up uh, this week. You know, and this is also expiration week. Oh. So mm-hmm. yeah, so you can get you can get some screwy stuff. Uh, on December, especially December, is kind of a little bit different than all the we other. We had Wally Wednesday. <laughs> Did you hear me, Sam? Uh, we had Wally Wednesday. Yeah, I hear you. Go, <laughs> go ahead. I missed that again. What would you say? I said we had Wally Wednesday. Wall and Chuck. Yeah, weird. <laughs> yeah, that Wall and Chuck. That's uh, that, that happens tomorrow. So, yeah. uh, but we got unusual strength. We got you know some minor stuff running here, but nothing, nothing major. So I actually flipped to chart four. Okay. Uh, this is now. This this is not the short term. This is what you really want to see here. We uh, the the second window up from the bottom is the summation index, and you want to have a selling climax below minus seven hundred, which we did. I forgot what date. I think that was November twenty seventh. Okay. And then you want to have a sign of strength within uh, uh, in two months for the from the summation index to go below minus 700, which it did, then you'd like to see a sign of strength to 1,000 uh, around two months. Well, two months is uh, De- uh, December. Actually, it's October 27th. So it would be December 27th, 27th, which is a couple of weeks away yet. Yes. And we're kind of on target here. Uh, so we need to get to plus 1,000. We're uh, Right now, we're 565, give or take. Okay. So if we... Uh, even though we can have a, maybe a two, three day consolidation, if the market really holds up and is doing as good as it's doing right now, most likely we'll reach the plus 1,000. Wow. And that's actually quite a bit bullish because uh, we had one back in uh, at the uh, October 2022 low. Yes. We had a uh, summation index, and we got to 1,000. Actually, it took three months. And this one looks like it's on target to get two months, but to get two within a year of each other, I think adds quite a bit of bullishness sure. uh, for next year. Just, um, stay, so just it, stay there one second. Stay there, folks, okay? Tim and I are coming back in three minutes, okay? Don't forget, it. Uh, during this break, you can come over to our website at TFNN. Right in the featured content, I'm at Mr. Tim Ord this Thursday. 4 to 5.30. Sign up right now, folks. Tim and I are coming right back. Get ready, Tigers. Thursday, December 14th, Tim Ord is back to host another stellar live webinar. From 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time, Tim Ord will delve into the secret science of market tops, helping you, the viewer, with how to effectively call market tops in order to increase your success in trading. Tim Ord has developed this understanding over decades of trading and is ready to impart this knowledge on you. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to sign up for Tim Ord's secret science of market tops. TFNN, educating investors. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tim Ward, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. Okay, Tim, so I'm on the, the chart that we're on here is the, uh, the summation index. Yes. You're right, the summation index. So we're on target probably to reach that uh, plus 1,000 uh, by uh, Dece- December 27th, which is two weeks away. That only has about 400, yeah, about 400 more points to go. It's already gone. From minus 700 to 500, so it's gone, what, 1,200 points over wow. already. So my view, it, you know, nothing disastrous happens over the next two weeks. Sure. That's probably going to get to plus 1,000. And that suggests that next year is going to be a real, you know, a, a, a pretty good year. If you look back, you know, I have all the ones listed go back to 2016. Okay. You know, all of them, when they did happen there, the red line is uh, – the selling climax is, and the red line is uh, sign of strength. Yes, and so they they produce. You know, when you get these signals, um, especially if you get two in a row within a year of each other, yeah, you probably, in my opinion, you probably at least get double digits next year yep. going into the president. You know, <laughs> the election year. So it'd be pretty amazing um, after the the rally that we had. You know, off the lows. 
You come into 2024, the market keeps going. I don't know if you heard me, you know, before, uh, like right before you're coming on, the SMHs, they blew away this, the B point on a weekly basis, and it's a monster ABC up. It's like, oh, my God, this is like something else, man. Broadcom's up yeah. 100 bucks in three days. Do you know what I mean? It's like, okay, here we go. Yep. Pretty cool. Yep. And also, you know, uh, on your shows, we had uh, I presented the uh, head and shoulders model. Yes. Yes. Uh, on the S and P's, where we were working on a right shoulder and a left shoulder was right. kind of the January, February, March, April, or January, February period right there. So we're, you know, in my opinion, we're on a neckline right now. Yeah. Um, and uh, so we may see a sign of strength to it. So if that's the case, then that head and shoulders bottom gives an upside target around fifty seven hundred, which I think is what twenty three percent higher than that's than yep. where we are right now. <laughs> So there's quite a bit, you know, this has not been confirmed yet, but it may be confirmed before the year's out. Right. So if it does, I'm thinking we're going to see 5,700 next year. And you know, so, it's amazing, Tim. There's not your euphoria in this market, man. You know, there's just, no. well, Broadcom, you know, but there's not euphoria in this market. So, you know, this is the time, folks, when something like this happens. You could actually, <laughs> it can come through, like, real easy. <laughs> Wild, man. Wow. Yeah. 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 I, I presented the uh, equity put call ratio readings, I think, at your last show. Yes. Uh, last week sometime. And uh, the 21 day, which is basically a month of trading, is 21, around 21 days in a month. And that ratio is staying around 75. So everybody's still buying puts. You know, now it's started to back off a little bit. Yeah. But, um, but that's probably, you know, gives some strength to it. So long as the, the sentiment doesn't go nuts here. Right. Uh, you know, and there'll, there'll be a slap in the face sometime, you know, oh, yeah. to get sentiment back in order. But it won't be anything major, according to charts. But, you know, flip to chart number five. Okay. And uh, this is uh, this is the SPX VIX ratio. Okay. And what it, it's it's uh, kind of like more confirmation that at least on a short term basis, you can you know I'm talking short term. This is probably a, a month out. You know, it gives you a good projection that you know January is probably going to be an up month. The last you know anyhow when the SPX VIX ratio makes higher highs and the S and P's. Or also make higher highs, but if it doesn't make a higher high, so it soon will make a higher high. And this ratio, uh, even though the SPs a couple of weeks ago was making lower highs, this ratio is making higher highs. Wow! So that predicted the market was it was going to break above the uh, July high, and it has. Uh, so we're, we're breaking above it right now. Uh, so this ratio works, and in the top window. Uh, is just the VIX. And anytime okay. it's below 17, a lot of times you get a kind of a trending market. Yes. And it's been below 17 pretty much since the October low. Um, and pretty much the market has, has trended since then. So, um, you know, that this chart's bullish. Great you know, ratios. It's, it's even no, on a short term basis, yeah. here, it's, it's not showing any signs of divergence. Pretty so, amazing that uh, the rally can go on this long. It's pretty cool, man. No doubt. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I, I thought we. I, I got a couple of divergence here a couple of weeks ago, but yeah, let's, let's flip to chart six real quick. Okay. And uh, this is the TLT to VBIX ratio. Okay. And this is the one I got out back in the, the July yes. high. The reason why I got out of the market was because of this ratio. Right. And it, it works pretty well. Uh, it, it had a bullish. Uh, November, kind of early December, it was making higher highs, making higher lows. Everything was fine. And uh, all of a sudden, uh, over the last uh, actually four days now, this ratio is starting to make lower highs uh, as the S&P is still making higher highs. This is updated till today. Yes. And so you get you, you get minor diversions. It could, could be like the September high. Um which is the last time we had about three, four, five days up, and this ratio started going down. And you got a correction there, you know, three, four days before it tried to rally again. Right. So that may be what happens here since this is expiration week. And, you know, and, and this market's really done pretty good for expiration week so far. Yes. You know, you may get a, a kick in the pants before the week's out, is what that chart's maybe suggesting. Now, now, what's so cool about this chart, folks, this is important to understand. You know, Tim was on the air with us. In July, you see that big line down there in July. So what was going on is that that ratio, 
you know, did go negative. Um, and then it, it, that that it, it, it took well, it took a good two or three weeks, Tim, for the, the market to fall apart. Right. I mean, but that, that yeah, thing went three weeks. Yeah. But if you look at, the, you know, we're also, you know, the October low, we were on the radio and I was talking about this ratio. Yes. And and uh, I think it was on Thursday. I'm thinking, you know, this thing's bullish. No, no, you know, it we make I it know. into Friday, it went long before Friday. The, you know, market yeah. turns up. And I went long that Friday. Right. And no. uh, and uh, so now you got three, four days up. So it probably means just a minor correction here. Just, yes. Uh, could be three, four, five days. And the market's kind of due for a rest here. It's been up, if today's up, then four days in a row. Uh, can you have a two, three day tr- a correction? Yeah, and that may be what this chart's pointing out. All right. So, I, I love this one. I, I love them all, but this one in particular, because, you know, what he's doing here, folks, he's putting the bond market together with the VVIX, okay? And, and bonds run everything, okay? That's the real bottom line. So, yeah. you know, it's... This, this chart is really good. Yeah. It seems to work pretty good at tops and bottoms, and even the... I uh, uh, have a momentum indicators, which is a top window. I, I, I don't I have see them that. really labeled right for okay. this. Okay. For today's show, but yep. uh, the last couple of times you get kind of exuberant to the upside. Uh, the market usually corrects a little bit, and we haven't reached that yet. But we do have a minor divergence here. Okay. So my bet is we'll probably, if not sometime this week, maybe next week, you'll see some sort of a minor pullback, and maybe we get down to uh, be what last Friday's gap or something. Yep. You have a little gap. Uh, I think it was last. Yeah, today's no today's Tuesday. So uh, looks like Wednesday's. You know the market had a big down day. The next day gapped up and up four days in a row. So I've been the last Wednesday's gap. You may test that gap or stuff, and and maybe that's where I get uh, you know a bicycle. I don't know. Uh, right. Have to wait and see. Right. So pretty cool, man. But uh, okay, just so. stay right there. We're gonna do the last two charts with Tim, and don't forget, folks, come over to our website at TFN. Right as a featured content. Uh, you want to understand these ratios upside down? Well, guess what? Our man, Mr. Tim Ward, is going to be teaching them for you this coming Thursday, 4 to 5.30. It's only $149. Stay right there, folks. Tim and I are coming right back. Welcome back, folks. Tim Ward, Tom O'Brien. Let's tackle this gold market, Tim. All right. Did you get that new chart? Uh, uh, you just send one? Yep. Okay. Uh, go ahead. Just tell me what it what is. Well, it's uh, it's the uh, uh, GDX, and um, yeah, I just sent it here a minute ago. Yeah, just go, just but, go yeah, ahead. It was a head show. Yep. Oh, okay, did you get it then? I, I I don't have it, Tim, but that's all right. Good. Why don't, all right, but, buddy, oh, yeah, hold it! No, one second, one second, one second, one second. I think I got low, it. Uh, was uh, head. We had a sinus drink through the neckline. Uh, it depends how you draw the neckline, but it can come anywhere from twenty nine to thirty. Uh, we're a little bit below uh, 29, but there's a gap on November 20, 21st, and we're testing that gap right now. What's interesting, I have two indicators on there, uh, the 18-day average up-down volume advanced client indicator. Yes. And so that measures if, if there's more advancing issues and declining issues than the 18-day average on the on that time frame, that indicator is staying above minus 10, so it leans bullish. And also, I have an 18-day average of the up-down volume, so if there's more up volume than down volume in that 18-day period, that indicator remains bullish. Even though the markets uh, have pulled back here since uh, the early December. Or, yeah, That's early great December to know, high. man. Okay, cool. Both yeah, both those indicators are suggesting there's more up volume and more advanced declining, even though the market's pulling back here. And this is how the gold market works. It just, yes. you know, it goes up and slaps <laughs> you in the face, turns it, around, goes back up, it goes does. back down, slaps you in the face. Uh, but I, I think we're fine. You know, if those yeah. indicators were below minus 10, I'm thinking, yeah, maybe we go back to the October low, but that's not happening. I'm telling I'm you. These we're indicators just testing are, the gap area. Yep. These indicators are totally where it's at. Folks, uh, Tim, you have a great one, a safe one. Of course, I look forward to speaking to you Thursday, and we look forward to the workshop on Thursday, man. All right. Okay. Thank you. And folks, come on over to our website at TFNN. You know, you just heard Tim go through all this. It's, it's, these ratios are where it's at, folks, okay? Uh, check it out, the front page of TFNN, right under featured content. And always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Have a great one, a safe one. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. We'll get him, folks. <laughs>